What's up guys, WSC Stage Creator back again with another video and today we got the 2023 WSC Room Tour. And we come into the room here and we got the figure shelves which we will go deep into and have a look at all the figures. But right here, let's focus on the arena and the arena seems to change every single year when we do these room tours so let's take a look so we've had this table set up since 2021 and it's done wonders i really love this table setup i would love to get a bigger table but i think it does just fine gets everything that we need in here we got the crowd here the crowd has expanded a lot more in the years and we've got the barricades now which have been updated to led barricades which are really cool designs wrestlistic really helps with all these designs you can find him on instagram youtube he really helps us make these graphics and stuff so i don't have to do it he helps make that happen and we've also got a new stage platform here now i don't know if this is gonna like stay permanently but like one day i accidentally like took this platform off and it was all black and I accidentally like sat on it somehow and i was like oh damn i ran out of black paper so i threw some red on there i think the red reflects really nice it's way like shinier than the black so we'll use it for the next match and we'll see how how we go we got black coming back uh we've ordered some so we'll see if we change it or not but i'm liking the look of it we got the stage set up it's kind of like uh similar to wwe's we got these new additions here lights on the side we used to just have scaffolding with like fake paper lights on it but now it's actual lighting so i really like that we got the star lighting on the background there and we have the beautiful crowd here, WSC Forever, looking good there. We're also getting new ring skirts soon. Got the new Attitude Era ring, and this is a perfect scale ring. Did the adjustment with the turnbuckles, so that's a bit longer, so you have more room on the apron here. Customized the ring posts. These are actually like removable, you can slip them on and off. And yeah, just to get the LED ring post effect, as you can see Seth Rollins entrance stage on here so you can get all the superstars graphics on the stage looking great there we also got these 3d printed barricades here i got a uh, customizer to design these and these turned out really beautiful printed them out spray painted them then added some lights to it and these have all sorts of effects on there too now back to the ring we also got some custom turnbuckles which for now they are paper one day i hope to get it like properly customized or some kind of cloth thing to put over the turnbuckles would be really nice someday i'm sure i'll get that done but for now i much prefer having these than just plain or having wwe logos on it i think it's a really nice touch we got the announcers table all customized here with the black top wsc graphics got the water bottles the papers to make it all authentic and a new touch that we added to the crowd is these little flashing lights in the crowd now i wanted the bray wyatt firefly effect so as you can see it's got different lighting settings so they can hold the fireflies when the lights are off and you can see it's just like if they're holding cell phones and they got the flash on their phones i thought this was a really cool touch to add to the crowd and they also got like these a lot of lighting effects so i think it'd be really cool in entrances having all these lighting effects go off and also like in AEW and concerts and stuff they've done stuff where there's light up wristbands in the crowd on the fans and they all go off at the same time i think this looks really really cool could also work for flashing photography back in the day when something cool happens there was always always flashing lights in the crowd so i think this looks really cool really cool effect here's how it looks with the lights off really cool lighting effect here here's just the normal static and yeah a lot of cool lighting features you can do with this i think that's a really cool update to the crowd something a little unique there also got the new wsc stage graphic that is really cool you'll see more of that in the usos versus drip gods match gonna be awesome now let's take a look at under the table here some interesting stuff here now there are so many figure rings that I barely have the room for it. So under this table, I'm really having a crouch down here. So we got all our Hell in a Cell pieces. We got our tripods. 
Let's take these down for a second. Got our Hell in a Cell pieces. Behind all that, we got the Elimination Chamber. We got the AEW stage, which we've never opened. We got a SmackDown main event ring. We got the AEW ring, one of them. We've got the classic Superstars WWE ring, two of them, another AEW ring. We got the Warzone, our custom match. We got the AEW kind of basic ring. Back there, we got the Raw main event ring. We got the War Games rings. We got a um, smaller Hell in a Cell back there. We got the War Games cages. We got our smoke machine, the smoke fluid. We got one of our flashing lighting things. We got a box of figures where I just don't have anywhere to put them and that's pretty stacked up right there. It's overflowing. So getting into the drawers, we got a lot of lighting controllers on top of here. We got a lot of lights going on. We got these little bike lights, which flash lights and stuff, which are really cool. So getting into these drawers, basically here's all our scissors, all our tape, all our toothpicks for painting and stuff, double-sided tape, pens, pencils, rulers, all sorts of stuff like that. We've got some confetti and stuff back there. All sorts of uh, essential items for customizing and whatnot. We got all our printouts in here, some crowd signs, just a ton of printouts from over the years that I just keep in here just in case. Just all sorts of stuff, some WrestleMania stuff. I remember all these I'd printed out for like LED barricades, but never actually used them. And yeah, just so much printouts and hell, it is so dusty in here, man. You can see all the dust. Here's our ladder drawer filled up to the brim here with all our tall ladders. We don't get enough tall ladders with Mattel figures these days. We definitely need more of them, not these small ones. But yeah, filled to the brim, got our Money in the Bank briefcase there, some of like the hooks and the strings I hang from the ceiling. So that's all in there. And under here, we got all our lighting stuff. So, you know, the ring of light there, some laser lights, uh, flashing colored lights, Yui Boom there, the uh, Blue Yeti mic I use for my commentary with Danny. Over here, we've got one of the new gen stages that we have, the other ones in the closet. We have a lot of extreme set stuff, a lot of backstage stuff. We've got like interview area, we got the locker room, just all sorts of backstage setups, and I usually set it up here on this table. Yeah, so this table's basically our backstage area table where we film all that kind of stuff on. We got the curtain call area. We got two Ultimate Edition sets along with another one in the ring because we like to have a bunch of them. Like the, I got a bunch of uh, Roman Reigns Ultimate Editions, Brock Lesnar Ultimate Editions because I like to have a bunch of them because they're awesome figures. Crowd looking great from this angle here. We got our fake blood, which we've been using for years and years, and it still hasn't run out. And over here, we like to have stuff that we're gonna use for our next match, just laying here. A lot of this stuff over here, like I just don't move it for some reason, like the Joker cards, the AJ jacket, like I'm not using it for the next match. It's just hanging out here, but we got the Seth hands, Uso's hands, Cody Rhodes hands, we got Seth Rollins head, stage creator head, so we just keep it there. Then up here on the wall, we have our autographs with wrestlers. I met Emma, I met Kevin Owens back in 2015, met Finn Balor, met Bobby Roode, Emma Moon, this is when I was like, 14, 15 back in the day. Then we got our YouTube plaque here, 100,000 subscribers, looking good. And we got our comfy chair that we sit on to film here. We had a different chair in the previous year, which was good too, but this is a lot better. It's a lot more customizable, has the back support, has the neck support. It's really nice there, so I usually just sit on this chair and film there. Sometimes I like to stand up and do stuff, but usually sitting down, on the chair but I think that's about it for the arena portion of this tour now let's get to the wardrobe and the figure collection now let's take a look at the figure collection here and two years ago when I bought these shelves I thought I was gonna fit so many more figures on there but that is not the case it is overflowing and I'm left with all these figures with no home they got nowhere to go but wait there's more this whole basket is filled to the brim with figures and they've got no home. If I had a bigger space for a crowd, a lot of this stuff would go in there, but man, it's overflowing and I need more room because we can't really fit bigger shelves in this space. So maybe next year we move somewhere else and get a bigger space. But now we got a lot of stuff that we use currently in our filming and stuff. And yeah, this is overflowing. 
but we definitely need like bigger tubs to fill a lot of these figures in. Before we get to the collection, there's a couple drawers that we need to take a look at over here and here, but under here, we got all our clothing and accessories and stuff here. So all sorts of clothing and we got our old WSC titles in here. Just all sorts of crazy stuff. Scooters, drones, all sorts of stuff in here. A mop, some titles, all sorts of accessories and clothing. You'll find all of it in here. Microphones, all sorts of accessories and whatnot inside this drawer. And then over here, we got another drawer or more like a box. And this is where all the interchangeable heads and legs and all sorts of arms and stuff. Stuff that we don't use currently. The current stuff is in this drawer, which we'll have a look at. But this is all the stuff that like we don't really use. So we don't want to mix it in in the current drawer because then it overflow. So yeah, a lot of stuff in here that, you know, we don't really have much use for. So we put it in here until the time that we need it. And let's see. Let's try and get this out without... Oh no. Don't knock over my custom Seth. Not the custom Seth. Alright, let, let's leave it at that. So we got our acrylic paints and stuff. We got textures in here. You know, when I feel like customizing, I'll just grab out some paint. And uh, paint brushes. And we'll get it going. Oh no, not the custom Seth. I know you guys want to look at the collection, but let's take a look at these drawers first. Let's move this light out of the way. On top of here, we have this little thing we clean our camera with. Clean all the dust. You can see how dusty this place is, man. We clean the dust off with that. We got blue tack. We got these little uh, elastic things for when we're filming stuff. We got little stands if we needed wrestlers to stand on those. In these drawers here, we got our hands. All our interchangeable hands. And recently I've really tried to organize them because it's getting crazy how many hands we've got. As you can see, I did the little paper method back in the day. I'm trying to kind of phase that out and mix them up because we've got so many of the same hands. So I kind of want to try and organize them if I can. It's very time consuming work though. And then we've got our interchangeable heads and stuff for the more modern day guys that we use in here. All sorts of heads of modern guys that we would use in here and yeah that's about all the hands and heads in here we got our titles all the WSC titles multiversal in here hardcore tag team championships we got our rib wraps or the injury stuff a bunch of tables is basically a tables draw got our referees got all our announcers table stuff got some tools there rat traps in there and yeah that's basically the gist of that draw final draw here is our weapons draw where all the hardcore action takes place and this is filled to the brim and we got so much barbed wire stuff steel chairs trash cans we got stretches in here we got all everything you can think of really we've we've pretty much got it in here we got a damn body bag weights shopping cart stop sign all sorts of goodies in here ready to be used by the wrestlers in wsc so yeah okay now we're gonna get into the shelved collection but before we do we got some horror figures over here i know a lot of you guys like the horror figures maybe they'll make a return in the multiverse we'll wait and see okay so we got the modern shelf right here let's go through the front row these are all my favorite kind of figures here that they go in the front row and then, yeah, this is more a modern day current lineup of figures here. And yeah, there's a ton of them all the way to the back. Can you imagine when, when the figures fall over how hard it is to get to the back of there? It's crazy. Here we have the 2017 to 2019 figure collection. A lot of cool figures came out during this time. A lot of cool, colorful figures. Really good era for figures coming out. A lot of good stuff. I definitely recommend you get for your collection. Then we got the 2013 to 2016 over here. And yeah, this is a really cool time too. This this 2014, 2013 era I loved of WWE. Such a good time. And yeah, a lot of cool figures here too. I think this is probably the best 
shelf. I don't know, just very colorful, cool looking figures. Then we got the 2006 to 2013 Ruthless Aggression Era going into the PG era. And we definitely need more Ruthless Aggression Era figures. I would love also some PG era figures coming back around. Like, we definitely need ultimate editions of Fruity Pebbles, John Cena. Like, this was like peak Cena. Like, he peaked at WrestleMania in 2013 and then just went downhill and Roman Reigns came and took his spot. But yeah, we need... Oh my god, his armband broke, man. What the hell? We need that CM Punk in Ultimate Edition. That would be wonderful. We need this re-release. So many Cena's in this era, we just need re-released. With all the updates and stuff, it would be great. But yeah, overall, I would love to see way more figures of this time period. Because a lot of these are all outdated and we could just get a lot more. And then we got the Ruthless Aggression Era, Attitude Era. Let's take a look-see. A lot of gems here. But yeah, Mattel's just like upgrading so many figures and stuff. Like they're just going to keep re-releasing them and things. Which is good, but like they're totally going to re-release this figure for sure. Hulk Hogan, they're definitely going to do another one of that NWO. This Sting though, that's very rare to have that since he left WWE. Man, I got to go on my tippy toes to get you the look over here. All the way at the back. And this is a very cool looking shelf. I mean, I wasn't even born during those times though, so I don't resonate with it as much. I love Kane though, ever since I was a kid. That version of Kane in particular, but yeah, these are really, really cool shelves. Comment down below which shelf most resonates with you and your time period of being a wrestling fan. For me, it'd probably have to be around this era and this era because I was younger, so... When you're younger, you tend to enjoy wrestling more, I would think. But yeah, I think this was a great time. A lot of people hate this time period. And I think if I was an adult watching this time period, I probably would have tuned out. But for for me as a kid, like this was a great time period. Loved the John Cena era. And yeah, 2013, 2014, I really loved. But from a very young age, I did watch the Ruthless Aggression era, but I really just was fully hooked in on the John Cena kind of PG era going into that era. But yeah, definitely love all these shelves. A lot of good figures in there, definitely need more shelves. But now over here, we got a lot of extreme sets cases here. Got the grass that we use for the Barrett Alive, got some more lights and stuff. And now let's get into the wardrobe here and see how much has changed. Over the years, you can see how messy it is, how clean it is. And yeah, I think we got it pretty organized here. We threw out quite a lot of stuff. We got a lot of our vehicles and stuff, which we'll have a closer look at up there. And there's our friend Shrek. But yeah, let's take a closer look at what we got here. We got the scaffolding stuff that we use for deadly games and whatnot, and the stage pieces. We got a lot of extreme set stuff in here, a bunch of steps and set pieces, buildings, all sorts of stuff. Got the War Games cages, got the Barrett Alive we used for WrestleMania. We got our glass, all the broken glass, the glass panes, the Joker John Moxley stand. Got those old Raw stage and SmackDown stage pop-ups. We got some shipping containers and stuff. We got a bunch of titles here. Let's have a look, see. Look at this big bag of titles just sitting there. Got our Ultimate X stuff here. We got a bunch of barricade stuff that I got from the Extreme sets, which I use. There's a big box of rubber shirts and stuff, which I don't really know where to put. Over here, you can see the train subway thing that we used for the No Mercy match. We got some vehicles here that we couldn't fit up top. Got a tank, police car. Got our old forklift before we got the Mattel one. We got the shiny paper here that we use for the stage. Comes in all sorts of colors here. Got a bunch of that. Got a bunch of more drawers here. Under here, I don't want to really mess up too much here, but we got a bunch of you know, umbrellas. We use that for Willow's entrance. Customized it a bit, but in here, basically, it's all our like ring stuff, ring skirts, ring ropes, all sorts of things like that. Here, it's just, you know, we got the ring carts, we got Bray Wyatt's rocking chair, got a bunch of steel steps, got the coffins deep in there. We got this big <laughs> bed, bath and beyond bag. And this is where we have all our, well, we got a bit of lighting in here. We got about like a hundred steel chairs in here that we'd have nowhere to put them. 
and yeah, they just hang out in here. We got a Triple H throne here that we haven't had a chance to use. We got the old ringside barricades, got the other new gen stage there. And that's basically the gist of what's in here. Now let's take a look at what's on the top shelves. As you saw before, we have Shrek, Donkey, and Puss in Boots here just hanging out, waiting for their return. We got the wrecking, you know, truck, whatever you call it, with the wrecking ball. We got the big production truck back there, which we've used in matches before. We got the forklift. We got a motorcycle, another motorcycle, the ATV. We got two blue cars, two red cars. We got two ambulances. We got a big limo there. We got the dump truck or whatever you call that thing that we used at WrestleMania to bury the fiend. Now up top shelf, we have the fiend monster truck. We've got the old ambulance that we used to use. Got some Halloween stuff there. Then we have the floating WCW bash at the beach ring that we used for the pool Royal rumble with some figures in there. Very cool ring, love that ring. Then we also got some dumpster trucks. Got the new one and the old one that we used to use back in the day. And then all the way at the back there, we just got a bunch of old figure boxes, which I probably should clean out. But yeah, man, I think that about does it for the room tour. I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at the new updated room for 2023 smash the like button if you like the video comment down below what's your favorite part of this room subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys on the next video